Hey everybody, this is Hardcore Pilates. I hope you are ready to sweat. I'm Brittany Clark, let's get started. You're gonna begin seated with your feet about hip distance apart and a nice straight back to start. Arms are gonna be right out in front of you, palms facing down. We're gonna go with a half roll back just to warm up the spine. So I want you to tuck the hips under and you're gonna roll back until almost your ribs meet the ground, but not quite. And then you're gonna come right back up where you started. Keep your back in flexion. Curl the hips under, and then return. Inhale on the way back, and exhale on the way forward. We're gonna get up four more here. So think of this as just your warm up. You wanna create some mobility in your spine. Last two. And one. Perfect. Place your hands down. So I'm not using them for support. They're reaching in front of me lightly on my fingertips. Start with a leg slide. I want one leg to go out and I want you to bring the other one in real close, all the way to your tiptoes. My back is rounded still. And we're just gonna change the legs. So in a reciprocal fashion here, I'm just changing when knee bends in as one leg extends out. You wanna keep scooping in your belly. And breathing. Just constantly remind yourself to relax your shoulders. You don't want to tense up here. That doesn't help your abs. Let's get about five more. Five. And four. Three, two, that should be harder than you expect. One more time. Let's leave both feet in a little bit closer. So we start to be around here. Now those feet are much closer. Go ahead and pin the knees together. And we're gonna go back an inch and up an inch. So deep, right? Small but mighty muscles right there in your lower abdomen. Five more. And four, three, two, and let's go all the way down onto our backs. Let's leave our hands on our sides. You want to get yourself into an imprinted position. So you let's make sure that the low back is tucked under. And we're going to bring one leg up to tabletop, followed by the second. You're going to leave your head down here, and we're going to start single leg toe taps. Now you can either just keep them here or turning the tabletop before you switch, or they can move in a reciprocal pattern. One travels up as the other travels down. Whew. Push those low backs down into the ground. You can work as hard as you choose by increasing the strength and intensity of that imprint. Four, and three, two, and one. Let's pause. We're going to take both legs in the tabletop. Both legs as a team. They're going to go toward the floor and up. If your feet don't make it all the way to the ground, that's okay. It is far more important that your low back does not arch as your feet travel further from your center. Legs still together. Five and four. Three, two, let's get one more time. And pause here. Hands behind the head. All right, we're gonna add the upper body, but we're gonna take it into parts. So here's how we begin. Upper body comes up into a crunch. Low body only. Legs go down and up. Upper body comes back up. Legs and shoulders. Legs and shoulders. We're gonna keep going sort of one and two every time. One part, second part. Let's get two more, we're in parts here. And legs and shoulders, okay, together. Head and shoulder, or head and shoulders and the feet go down and then we crunch. Keep mind on that lower back and lift. And five, 
four, three, watch that lower back, two, and one. Take a quick break, put your feet down. Lift those hips up, stretch those hip flexors. They're gonna get used a lot in this hard core class. Go ahead and roll it all the way down. Let's keep those feet about the width of the mat and let them just twist off to the side and then other side. Get this nice sort of side body stretch here. So as you go over, we we'll the top hip and press it forward. And then we'll do the other side as well. And then we're back. Okay, hands behind the head. Let's get that imprint going again. So we've got that slight pelvic tuck. Tabletop and tabletop. We're gonna lift our feet just a tiny bit higher than tabletop. So a perfect tabletop would be here. And we're gonna just bring it in ever so slightly. This is gonna allow us to maintain that slight curve of our back. Now, shoulders are down, like your elbows are pinned or glued to the floor. And I want you to let the legs travel together towards one side as far as they can go without lifting the elbows, either one of them. And then use the muscles in your waist to come back through center, and then right over into the opposite side. And pull. Lengthen those legs over to the side, really folding into the obliques. And then right back up into the center. And pull. Now, we're going to the side, and we're gonna stay and lengthen those legs, tabletop, through the middle, other side, and legs out. Here are can cans, and press. Good. So keeping the low back into the ground, you still want that opposition where you feel like your lower belly is really pressing through your spine into the ground as the legs reach away. Woo, one more time, and then back into the middle. Let's go and put those feet down. Now I've got my feet real close into my bottom, my hands behind the head, and I'm gonna just do a regular crunch. So as I flex forward, I'm trying to slide my ribs very down, close to those hip bones. The parts of skin in between those bones just kind of disappear straight down towards the floor, making room for those two bones to come towards each other. And flex. And flex. Five more. Really taking your vision forward, right through those knees. Three, two, and one. Now we're going up. Take your whole chest straight up. Straight up. You want to try to clear the entire shoulder girdle off the ground to so get both those shoulder blades off the floor. I can barely see the tips of my elbows in my periphery. So don't want to pull up with your shoulders and hands. You want to make sure you're lifting from the muscles in the upper half. One more time. Go all the way up and down. All right, we're in for a treat here. So leave the upper body down for a moment. We're going to imprint and those legs find their way to the tabletop. Okay, long leg on one leg only. So the shape that the legs are in are going to stay that way. So they're going to rock up and rock down. So we got the basic rules the same here. Anytime you're on your back like this and we're gonna go with a long leg, I need you to really increase the intensity of the imprint. Even, even if you can work in neutral, I want you to press into imprint to really encourage those lower abdominal muscles to fire. Last one. How can that be more fun? We add the upper body. So we're gonna crunch up to meet those legs. And then legs by themselves up. And up. And up. Four, we're getting 10 of everything. Five more, five. And four, three, to, you know what's coming? That upper body does the same thing. So everything goes away, everything's up. And two, and three, four, five to go, and five, four, three, 
two, and one more. Okay, quick reset. Take those hips up, start those hip flexors. We're right down into the next leg, side. So, tabletop and straight leg, head and shoulders are resting. We take that leg shape and we rock it in. So I'm just barely tipping the tailbone away from the ground as I pull my legs towards my shoulders. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right now we lift the upper body and then we hold the upper curl and we do the same thing with those legs. Make that harder, right? So when we lift the upper body up, now we're working both ends of those abs. Five, and four, three, two. All right, home stretch. Take the upper body down and up. Two, three, four, five more, five, and four, and three. One more time, and take a break. All right, let's turn onto our sides and get away from crunching for a second. So now, I'd like you to angle your legs towards the front corner of your mat, and you're gonna prop up onto a forearm. Now, we're not lounging at the beach, so we're not gonna sink into the shoulder. I want you to try to straighten out your spine. Think of lifting the bottom side waist to create Kind of an hourglass. You want to have an even length on both sides of the waist. Top hands here. Fingers and thumb should be feeling muscle. Okay? So my feet are in dorsiflexion. I'm going to keep my bottom side waist lifted and the legs are going up and down. So they're not going very far when I'm stacked on my hips. And three. You should feel all these muscles under this top hand. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and we're gonna stay up right here. Now, pull the heels together, a little bitty circles. Three, watch this bottom shoulder stay off of it. Six, seven, eight, circles go both ways. 10 in reverse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're gonna hold it here. We're gonna scissor, so one leg travels front, one goes back, and then they change. So imagine that you've got on skis. You don't wanna crisscross those skis, so keep those feet in line with their own hips. You're pushing off that bottom forearm, keep the waist lifted. Three, and two. One more time, long legs, straight line, Let's take it all the way down. Let your arm be your pillow, so rest your head right on top. I'm gonna to take my top hand, place it back on the waist. I'm gonna be in a lateral turn out, so look at my feet. Heels are touching, toes are not, and we're gonna lift and lower. So very similar to what we were just doing, we're just hitting a little bit of a different spot right here in the obliques. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're gonna hold it up, top arm on the top thigh. I'm gonna lift my upper body only, my feet are staying in the air. Three, four, five, six, we got 10, always 10, eight, nine, and now let's take it all down, all of it up. And two, make sure that you keep your ribs and shoulders and hips, all of this stack right on top of each other. We don't want to roll back. Four, and three, two, and thank goodness, top leg bends. And just rotate the shoulders in the opposite direction to enjoy a little break. Rotating and that stretching that oblique out. All right, we've got the other side to do. So you wanna be on your forearm with your legs angled toward the front corner of your mat. Remember, we're not gonna be comfy. 
We are exercising, so let's press into that full forearm and lift the bottom side waist up, top hand. Fingers and thumb should be feeling the muscles of the oblique. All right, here we go. Legs and lift and lift and lift. Now they don't go very high as long as you're not sinking into that shoulder, right? So if I drop into my shoulder, I go much higher. Let's keep it clean. Two. Hold it here. Glue those heels together in little circles. Just tracing the edges of the cup. Real small. Five, six, seven, eight, and ten in reverse. Ten and nine. Eight. Mind that bottom shoulder. Five, four, three, two. We hold. Scissor and scissor. So when that top leg moves forward, it is much more challenging than when our bottom leg moves forward. Try to keep your torso stationary. Four, bottom elbow pressing to the floor. Two, one more time. Ah, straight line, let's lower down. So we're making our bicep into a pillow, top hand on the waist, legs are together, legs are by themselves. Two. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're taking the upper body, right? So we're lifting just the upper body. My feet are gonna stay in space. And four, five, six, seven, eight nine and all of it, right? All of it goes down, all of it goes up. And two, three, four, five, almost there, four, three, two, and one. Bend that knee in the front and enjoy that spiral twist. Let's go right over onto our stomachs. So the core is all the way around, not just in the front. Let's bring our legs about uh, the width of the mat in a lateral rotation. So anytime you're prone, prone is belly down, your hip bones and your pubic bone need to press into the floor evenly. So for this first one, I'm gonna just bring my elbows about the edge of my mat, and I'm gonna just lift. My entire forearm is still on the floor. And then I'm going to lower. Inhale, we rise. And exhale to lower. And one more time. Keep those shoulders off the ears. Now, arms are going to my sides. If I were to let them rest, they'd be here. So I'm going to rotate externally and open up the shoulders, palms face in. Up and down. Inhale as you lift and exhale as you lower. Three. One more. And down. Now, you make a little forehead for the pillow. Put the fingers together. Rest the forehead on top. We reverse the breath here. Inhale. And then exhale lift. And lower. So really just working on the upper back muscles. Three. And one more. Four. Let's enjoy a shell stretch. So shell is child's pose with a huge ball. So you want to round your back here and concentrate on stretching out the length of the spine. So bring both hands to one edge of the mat. Pull the hips in the opposing direction. Let's get a plank going here. So I'm going to be very kind and we're going to do a modified plank. So what I'd like you to do is drop to the front of your thighs and allow your feet, I'm sorry, your knees to be almost the edges of the mat. And we're going to come down into a forearm plank. Now my forearms are parallel to one another and they're no wider than my shoulders. So what I'd like you to do is to just concentrate on making the movements just side to side and not any rotation. Pull your waist in, and we're gonna simply 
reach one arm forward and then right that way. So reach and turn. So reach and turn. So your shoulders, your ribs, and your hips should all point straight down at the mat. And reach. And reach. Five, four. One. One. Two. So you should feel that in your core muscles. Planks are one of the best things we can do for core work. And one more. And let's switch to a break and then we walk it back into that shell stretch. We're going to be in a full plank this time. If you need to be in modified and you're on your forearms, you do that. I'm going to be up on my hands. Legs go back until we're in a perfect plank. Now, this is not a perfect plank. We want our hips to be right in between our feet and our shoulders. Now, keep all 10 toes perfectly planted on the floor. Rotate the hips. Center. Rotate. Twist. Twist. So my shoulders haven't rotated. I haven't lifted any of my toes. All 10 toes are on the floor. Twist. And five. And four. And three. Two. One more time. And take a break. All right, we're gonna change things right into our hands and knees position. So, left leg goes straight back. I want you to touch the toes to the floor. When we lift, so many times we lift and we're completely rotated in the hips. So to avoid that, put the foot on the ground. That ensures that our hip bones are both pointed straight down at the ground. We're gonna take our opposite hands. So in this case, my right hand is coming in for a seat. And then I'm gonna lift my left leg. Watch that your back has to become a hammock. Nice and neutral. You're going to bend your knee and rotate like you're gonna to try to reach the elbow knee together. And then neutral. Curve it in and reach. Curve, reach. So when you're pushing that leg out, send it back with purpose. Drive through the heel of the foot. Four, three, two, one more. Hold it out. Now stay here. Touch the leg wide, back, behind you. When I go wide, my toe and knee still point at the floor. Big difference if your toes don't point at the floor. Ten of these two. So we've got five more. And four, and three, two, one more time, and let's reset. All right, we've got the other side to do. Right leg goes back, touch the toes, walk, but you don't do that dip in the belly. So pull everything up. Opposite hand salutes, and we're up. You can also sit up on the shimmy side of my foot. If you need to tuck the toe under, you can. That's a small cheat. So try to stay on the shoelace side. So we're gonna tuck and press. You're gonna press through a dorsiflex foot, right through the heel, so you can feel your butt. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it here, tap the foot wide, center, wide, center, three. Remember we're doing 10, keep mindful positioning and that shoulder, there's the halfway mark. Five, four, three, two, and last time, Bring it in. Little break here. Let's have a seat. Okay. 
We're gonna come down onto our backs all together. And let's bring our legs up to a tabletop position. So again, we're gonna find that infant first. Tabletop, tabletop. I want you to fan the knees apart. So see I'm in like a little bit of a diamond shape. And I want you to keep the feet together. So, imprint, most important thing here. And we're gonna let the legs go down that diamond and up. So as they come up, you can either stop in tabletop where we started, or you can lift for a little extra work. So do try to keep the head and shoulders down on the ground. Eight and seven. It doesn't matter if your feet go all the way down or not. Four and three. Two and one. Go ahead and put those feet down. We're going to come up and prop up onto our forearms. Okay, walks that you don't think here is so comfortable and so easy to do, but kind of remind yourself of what a nice straight back. So we're just going to lifting up the chest, keeps your nice openness from front of the shoulders. Keep the waist pulling in and the legs up to table top. We're going to lengthen and bend. So as the legs go up straight, there is a natural scoop that happens in the stomach to keep your back from sinking. And four, three, two, legs stay up. I want you to take the legs towards one corner of the mat and then up and the other corner and up and up. So I'm getting just a little bit of a diagonal. Up. Up. And up. You know how this could be more fun? Up here. So try the same. Up. Much more challenging to keep your back somewhat straight. Five, four, three, two. And one, lay the legs down, but just come straight forward. We're gonna do a little bit of stretching here as we wind down. So we get this nice forward flexion here. And then I want you to come back, put your fingers down facing your bottom, and you're gonna just lift for a reverse plank. And then let the hips come down. And I want you to stretch forward. And then bring the hands back, hips up, and down, and forward. And stack it up. Bring those feet towards the corners of the mat, please. Let's take our hands behind the head. We're up tall. If you need to bend the knees, please do. Twisting once, two times, three times back in the middle. And turn, two, three, to middle, and one, two, even taller back to the center, upper back muscles, three, and one, two, three, last time, one, two, three, and back in the center. Let's take those legs straight forward. We're gonna do last stretch here, guide the head down towards the feet, Stack all the way up. Let's finish the little mermaid stretch. So I'm going to get both feet in one direction and to reach that arm up. I'm looking up through the ceiling here. And then other side of the legs. And we're going up. This is a little mermaid. Looking up through the ceiling. All right. There you go. You've just knocked out hardcore Pilates. Congratulations, that was hard work. I will see you next time.